Hi, I'd like to show you how to collect and view Raman spectra within the Vision software. Vision is Metrum's comprehensive spectroscopy software, which can be used for data acquisition and display, can be used for chemometric modeling, qualitative and quantitative modeling, and then those models can be applied in real time for process monitoring of one or multi multiple components. Vision can be interfaced to a control system and includes comprehensive system tests in accordance with USP and EP. A 21 CFR Part 11 compliant version of the software is available in addition to the standard version. When you first connect your iRaman series instrument with the Vision software, an instrument status dialog such as this will be displayed. At the top, it carries the identifying information of the instrument, including its unique three-letter C code, the internal detector temperature. It displays the relative intensity correction or ratio three files for the specific instrument connected and has the information on data acquisition parameters, which can be changed here or in the data collection method, the DCM. From the instrument status dialog, you also have the option to select auto integration time, and the system will find the maximum or optimal integration time to not saturate your spectrum. When you change parameters here in the status dialog and save a spectrum, that will also force a change in the update to your data collection method, your DCM. The DCM self-identify as well on the instrument, and the model and the spectral range for the instrument cannot be changed in the DCM. Once a DCM has data saved to it, it cannot be modified, but a new DCM does have the ability to change the acquisition parameters of integration time in milliseconds, the number of averages, which can be used to improve the signal to noise ratio of your spectra, and the laser power from one to 100%. You also have the option to select an external trigger if that option is available. When you collect a spectrum, the final spectrum will be shown and plotted as the relative intensity versus the Raman shift. But in addition to the full corrected spectrum, you will also have the ability to view the dark spectrum and the raw spectrum for an immediately collected scan. Those will not be saved, and the final spectrum will be saved as the relative intensity corrected and dark subtracted scan, as shown here. Now let's turn over to the Vision software and collect some spectra. So here I'm at the Vision interface, and I want to connect to my instrument. You go to Acquire, Connect, and it's bringing up the instrument status dialog with the identifying information of my instrument as well as the different DCMs that have already been saved within this project. So within the status dialog, I see that I have a PTRAM connected, and I have the identifying information, the ratio of three files, integration time, and such. So let's now go and create a new DCM. I'll create a DCM which uses 100 millisecond integration time. So here, I don't have the ability to change what the instrument is. It indicates reference standardization is used, which is the language to indicate that it's the relative intensity correction will be applied as should be done for all your Raman spectra. And then we set my integration time here. I will leave my average at one and use the full laser power. Now clicking okay and okay, I can now collect a sample spectrum. I have a sample of acetaminophen that I will run. So I'm placing my sample probe against my sample, clicking scan. Because I have the PT RAM, it first calibrates the Raman shift, and then it's acquiring my reference or my dark scan and my sample scan, and you see my acquisition is complete. This is the spectrum of my acetaminophen. I can look at the dark scan that comes with this, and I can also look at the raw spectrum. Let me close this dialog box here so we can see all of these. I can now save my sample scan and I can save it. The DCM is here as I have it. Clicking OK and giving my sample a name. So this is acetaminophen. 
and my sample is acetaminophen. I won't type out the whole thing, just call it number one. Create that project, and all the information should be here, and here it is. So the information that's stored within the sample, we can take a look by right-clicking to properties, includes the information that's been saved, the date and time that the sample and its dark scan or reference scan were collected, the data collection method, the identifying serial number of the instrument. So viewing the DCM, we see that this is here for this previously collected polystyrene spectra that we're viewing. Another thing that we can view is the actual sample spectrum. So this is the display of the spectrum, but if we want to see the raw data for that, we can right click and go to spectra. And here it's displaying the spectra in XY data, where X is your Raman shift in one wave number increments. And this is your relative intensity of your Raman relative intensity. And clicking analog, we see that it has the information on how the spectrum was collected with the parameters of the integration time, laser power, and the number of averages used. When we look at Raman spectra, we often apply data preprocessing. And here I have standard normal variate and savitsky gole processing selected. So we can actually overlay a few spectra here where I have the same sample at two different uh, integration times. Look at those as raw data. And we see when we look at the um, standardized, they are more closely overlaid with each other. We can also look at the derivatized data. To add different preprocessings, we can go under Configure, Math Treatments. And here I have the SNB and the Savitsky-Gole preprocessing added. I could add a combination of the two by choosing both. Click Add. I need to make sure that I change the, the range to that of the actual data, which for this instrument is from 150 to 2800 wave numbers. So I type in those values, 2800. And then for my derivative, I want to use 25 points. For Raman spectra, we use 25, even up to 50 point smoothing, and I'll use it as a second derivative. So I'll apply this. And here is my additional preprocessing that's now been added. Of course, to see that live, I need to reselect my spectra. So these are my raw data, and this would be my SNV plus a second derivative of those same, same two scans. So again, to collect our sample spectra, we need to create a DCM or select an existing DCM. So I can select a DCM, and then I can collect a sample spectrum. Now I'm scanning a sample of sorbic acid again. So collecting that sample, again, it first run, runs the Raman shift, the reference, and then the sample itself. And here it's overlaid, and I can save that sample scan. The other thing that we can do in the vision software is to do, set the frequency of measuring our dark scan. By default, it's collected for every sample, but we can go under the configuration timer and set that to be based on time or the number of samples or even to measure it manually. I showed you configuring math treatments and we do recommend SNV and Savitsky gole derivatives for Raman spectra. When you add your math treatments, make sure that you set the spectral range appropriate to the Raman data. And for the PTRAM, that is from 150 to 2800 wave numbers. We can also view the data as XY data in one wave number increments by right clicking on a sample scan and choosing spectra. And we see the XY data and then under analog, it shows the acquisition parameters for a sample scan. So Vision Software is the standard software for the PTRAM instrument and can also be used for the other portable Raman instruments made by B&W Tech. 
though for those B BW spec is the standard software, except for the QTRAM and STRAM, which have specialized functionalities in compliant software as listed here. So please be sure to order your Vision software separately for your other instruments. And keep in mind that the Vision software includes the full performance tests in accordance with the USP 858. And in order to run those, the polystyrene validation cap is also needed.